Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, coming at you with you know exactly what. It's Endless Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to be checking out this amazing car that I have made for you guys. Um, it is my dream car. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the car is yet, so how about this? I'll give you a few hints, you guys can try and guess what the car is down in the comments. I'm excited to see what you think the car is, and then at the end of the video though, I will give you the answer. Uh, so a few of the hints though here, as we look at this amazing car. Um, it's, it's 1980s, it's a version from the 80s. It's, uh, it's not North American. And it's a mid-engine car, so if you guys can take those guesses, maybe you might be able to figure out what kind of car it is. Uh, so let's hop off of it. I have three different versions of this car right here. Uh, so I have three garages, obviously, set up with each one inside. So we are going to quickly go through the differences between these three cars, which will all be available on the Steam Workshop, of course. And then once we talk about these cars, we are going to make our way over here, so you can see beyond this road I have a track set up so that's right this is a drift track for the drift car um, there's one of them of the three that we are going to be using for this track and it's this one right here which is the drift the super drift version of the car now before we do look at the super drift because we'll look at that one last before we actually take it on the track we are going to make our way all the way down to the far left here uh, so this middle one here is the lag-free version, uh, so we'll quickly talk about that in a moment. And right here, this is the one. This one here is the Deluxe. It is fully kitted out with as much as I could squeeze into it. Uh, so I'm actually just going to quickly drive it out here so we can hop up onto the seat just like this actually and got, get inside like that. It's pretty, it's a pretty big car. So let's take it out into the light. We'll get a better view of it here. So as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. I really do like the entire shape of the car. Um, this is bigger than the small scale car that I would make. Uh, this is more akin to the old version of the car. So why is this one the deluxe version? And I will tell you exactly why. So we can close that down. Here we go. So this is the deluxe version like I was saying. Um, it features a few more options compared to the lag free and the super drift version. Uh, but you can see as we walk around the car guys, it is full of really like nifty detail. So in the mod pack, which is one of the mods that I was using, there is like this little line piece. So you can actually see I put this line trim right here. I put some trim around the lights here as well. You can't really see it. I even used it to make an antenna on the back. So there's even a little antenna there. Uh, when I discovered that little block in the mod pack, I was like, wow, this is so useful. So I put it all over the place. Um, it definitely really just ties the build together. And I used a lot of the uh, Polygon mod pack as well to create these really nice wheel rims here, uh, as well as the sloped hood, which looks really fantastic. Um, and just really good build overall. You can even see it actually does have the wipers that do work. All three versions of the car have the wipers, as a matter of fact. Uh, but I even put in like weather stripping up here. Uh, you can see back here I added um, an engine under there, which is really cool. We're going to open that up in a moment. Uh, because this is a mid-engine sports car from the 1980s. Try and guess what it is before the end of the video. Alright, so we are going to hop in actually. So we can actually just open the door like so. The passenger side opens as well. And we are going to open up the buttons. Look at all these buttons. This is the deluxe version, guys. I'm telling you, it has everything. It's extremely laggy, so that's why we're not going to be racing in it. Alright, so we can press 4. That'll shut that door right there. So let's go through this massive list of buttons. So if we press the 1 key, we're going to get our pop-up headlights, just like so. If we press the 2 key, that will open up the rear trunk, which reveals the engine back there, which looks really cool. And you can see underneath it even has an exhaust system and a drift license plate, which is pretty nifty. The Super Drift actually features the word Super on it. So we can shut that down. The 3 key, you can see it's a very different switch, and that's because that is what activates the drift mode, but we're not going to go through that in this car. We're going to go through it on the other one. And so we can press the 6 button, you can see that's actually, if we go inside here, 6 is literally, oh, sorry, 5 is the dome light. And 6, you can press 6, there we go, the wipers are going to start going. Now we have a rear view mirror here, look at that. We even have a steering wheel that you can turn, look at that. I, I decided to put a steering wheel on the front, uh, just for the sake of detail. 
Um, so there though we can see that is the uh, that's the wipers going. It looks really cool. You can imagine if there was some rain mod actually. I'm pretty sure there is a rain mod. All right, so what what else we got here? We can turn those wipers off. The seven key, that's your spinners. I decided to add spinners. Um, I was originally just going to leave those spinners as free bearings, but the issue was because I did upgrade the wheels, because diesel designs, he mentioned, the wheels were looking pretty tiny, and I couldn't agree more, so I put the bigger wheels, but the rims were the same size, so they don't touch the ground when you're rolling, uh, so they don't even turn, so I had to put them on a little bit of an engine there. So now we also have underglow. Now you can't really see it because it is daylight, uh, but if you see very close to the road there, there are some different underglow settings. Uh, so you can press the 8 key for one, which is red, the 9 key for green, and zero is like a, a, a whitish blue, I believe. Uh, so you can, have them, you can have them all on as well. So just another, another reason to call it the deluxe version. Um, so other than that though, that is pretty much what this build comprises as far as the details go and stuff. Um, it actually took me a long time to make this car, and the reason why, of course, was because there was just so much detail I wanted to add. Every time I would add a piece of detail, it just wasn't enough. I had to keep adding more and more. So that's the deluxe version fully loaded. Now this one here, we can just pull this one right out easy like this. So this is the lag-free version. So this one, it does not feature the opening doors at all. And, oh, actually, wow, I forgot to mention something. Let me, let me spawn that here, guys. Let's, uh, let's utilize, oh, there, it's already there. Look, we can spawn this deluxe version. I forgot to show you. Uh, this is actually one of the reasons why it does lag so much, the deluxe version, is because it has working reverse lights. So if you press S, it'll, it'll uh, activate the reverse lights, and when you press W, they'll turn back off again. So that was just another little touch of super detail on the super deluxe version, uh, which I was just super happy about. All right, let's get back out of this super deluxe version and back to the lag free where all my FPS are. All right, so as I was saying, the, the this lag-free version, it doesn't have the tail light that activates when you reverse. It also does not have doors that open or close, but it does still feature the pop-up lights. It still has the uh, wiper blades as well. Um, so the drift in this one, I wasn't too happy about the drifting. Um, I, I really tuned it for like a few hours actually and running around that track. Uh, so this lag-free version is just, I think this is the one that you would want to load in if you want to just drive around or have a few of them in a world so that way you don't lag too much. But as you can see, um, it handles really well on the concrete. I did I did do some of the testing. They have the uh, the test branch right now for some friction analysis. Um, I, I tried it out and I did notice a difference, but I, I didn't really notice much of a difference on the concrete. Now I'm not sure if that's maybe because this is just such a large creation, but who knows? So the difference, of course, with this one is since the doors don't work, you can't actually get out because the windows are half up and half down. So I actually put one of those block seats right here, which is how I was sitting on top of the car. So it's just a quick little way to get out of the vehicle. So now it's time to get into the drifting, guys. So we aren't even going to... We're not even going to bother driving on the road. The drifting, unfortunately, it does have to happen on the terrain uh, because the... Like I said, the concrete is just way too grippy. Alright, so let's just quickly drive through a hole right here. And we will get onto the track. This is pretty much... This is kind of like where the starting area is right here. I could have probably added like a start line, but... It's more so just about driving and drifting. So let's uh, quickly talk about how the drifting is working. So right now, you can see I have some sensor steering stuff set up here, and that's because it's pretty much like thruster-based drifting. So if we press that three key, which is that different one, that actually activates the drift mode. So now you can see thrusters are actually changing the way we are gonna drive this car. All right, so let's back it up here. This is where we're gonna start, guys. I'm gonna turn the drift mode on, and we are ready to start drifting. So wish me luck here, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to do some cool drifts here. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good turn for a drift right there. I've been moving the track around as well, so we can try and pull this drift. No, not as good as the first one. A little too much. A little too much. Come on now, get off. That's the problem with those little barrels. They're like the perfect height to wedge underneath this car. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put the follow cam on so that way it's easier for me to keep track of this car. Oh man, I'm spinning out here. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. 
Actually, no, that's making me nauseous. Normal camera. Alright, here we go. I like this turn. Oh, yeah. See, that's a nice wide drift there. We can punch that drift. That's one of my favorite turns right there for drifting. That was nice. Alright, keep it together. Swing the tail out. There we go. Alright, so there's one lap of the drift track. So it's not too bad. It's not very long either. Look at that. I love this car. Man, you can... You can do some serious drifts here by swinging the tail out. Look at that. It's pretty good. Like I said, guys, I spent a, a few hours at least trying to trying to really nail this drift. Look, oh, jeez, oh boy, wheelie in a car. Oh, that was cool. That wasn't too bad. All right, so I'm thinking, guys, I'm just gonna probably do another lap right here of this cool track. Oh, I swang that. I swang, swung that one out too far. Making up words here, that's how cool this car is. Alright, sweet drifts, yeah! So, I've personally never drifted in a car in real life, so... I'm not too sure if I am actually on the right path with it. Uh-oh. Get off of that. So, like I said before, though, I was definitely um, trying to tweak this track as well, so... If you guys want to get this track on the download link in the description, let me know. I'll I'll do some changes to it to make it just a better track for you guys. Because right now, I just kind of threw it together. I did do a little bit of changing. Wow, I just did a huge spin out there. Did you see me pop off the ground? That's one issue as well, actually, is you still get those, like, bad pops. Alright, you know what? I actually want to do one more lap, guys, but we're going to stay in the follow cam. We're going to be close like this, so let's see if I can get some cool drifts on the go here. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's very responsive, I gotta say. Oh, that was a nice one. I like that little... I put a little tiny, like, divot in the track there so that you had to, like, do a weird dodge. Oh, that's a really nice drift. Oh, wow. Guys, I really hope you have a lot of fun drifting in this car. Like I said, I can put this track up for download um, if you want. I'll tweak it a little bit and uh, make it better for you guys. Of course, you could always just make your own little drift track as well. I do suggest you do it on the terrain like this or in an open terrain world that's not flat. Um, because, like I said, the concrete still has some issues. Even after some extensive testing, guys, it still was giving me some grief. So hopefully something might get fixed there eventually. Oh, that was nice. That was a crazy drift. Wow. Hooey. So there you have it, guys. This is the Super Deluxe Drift Car. Um, I, I spent so much time on this using the mods. Um, if you guys do want to see some more cars as well, uh, make sure you let me know down in the comments. And of course, hit that like button if you do want to see more cars like this one or maybe different versions or different... Uh, different cars entirely. I'm not sure. You guys probably have some good ideas. I was thinking I wanted to do like a futuristic concept car or something like that one of these days as well. Uh, just for driving, not necessarily for the whole drift concept. Uh, but like I said guys, if you want to see some more cars, then make sure you hit that like button. Um, and I'm gonna give you the answer now to what this car is. That's right. So at the beginning of the video, I asked you guys to put some comments down below as to what car you think this is. It's time for me to make the great reveal. This is my dream car too. It is not an expensive car at all by any means. And it is the Toyota MR2. That's right. It's it's a very simple car. I did make it look a little, you know, pizzazzy in this build, uh, but I love the car. It's one of my favorite cars. I would love to own it one day. Uh, so everybody, thank you so much for watching and checking out this car. Make sure you download it on the Steam Workshop. The mods are the mod pack, the polygon mod pack, as well as scrap letters. Literally scrap letters for that little asterisk right there as a hood ornament. Uh, so get the three mods, check it out in the Steam Workshop. This build is so much fun. Do some drifting, and we'll probably get some more cars out in the near future as well. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed for Endless Scrap Mechanic, I suggest you do that right now. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. So, bye for now.